I haven't always been a Christian. My family weren't Christian, so I was brought up really in quite a secular environment. Um, I guess my parents believe in God, but not really in organised religion, in, in Christianity. So I was brought up really not a big fan of the church, not liking the church very much. When I was about 12, my parents got divorced and it was quite a messy breakup. And really, you know, as a 12 year old kid, that, that affected me quite a lot. I went through quite a rough period, started messing around with drugs and things that I shouldn't have been touching. Really got into quite a state. I was diagnosed with depression. Um, and around that time, I had one friend um, who had been brought up as a Christian. You know, he, he knew Jesus, he loved Jesus. And he started inviting me along to church, along to youth group. At first, I, I went along just to check it all out. Didn't have much better to do. And I met all of these people my own age. And there was just something different about them. You know, they just, they had something that I, I was lacking. And the more I got to know them, the more I spoke to them, I found out that it was because they knew Jesus. You know, they knew God. And so from then on, I started reading the Bible, checking it out for myself. And eventually, when I was about 16, I became a Christian. I decided to follow Jesus. Well, I was brought up in a Christian family. Uh, my parents were brought up in a Christian family. So we've got quite the tradition of going to church on a Sunday. Um, and that's just what you did. Uh, so growing up, I knew a lot about God, about the Bible, stories, we sung songs about the Bible. So a lot of my life revolved around God. And I guess for a long time, I just assumed that made me a Christian because I went to church and I didn't do some of the things that my friends did. But I guess over a period of a few years, when I was about 15, 14, 15, I kind of came to a realisation that it's not enough to just know about God, but that you have to know him personally. So it was around that time that I became a Christian. That is, like, you know, I said to Jesus that I couldn't do life by myself and that I needed him in it. And from that time, I've uh, tried my best to put Jesus first in everything I do, uh, to develop a relationship with him. Knowing God just gives me that, that hope that was never really there before. Um, in fact, the first book of the Bible I ever read was Ecclesiastes. And it starts off saying, meaningless, meaningless, everything is meaningless. And as a non-Christian at 16, I just so connected with that. And I thought, yeah, this, this is my life. And then the book goes on to explain about how the only thing that gives meaning is knowing God. And so just, yeah, meeting God, developing a relationship with him, knowing that he loves me, and that I can trust him. That just gives me a sense of hope, a sense of purpose. So that has been a great encouragement to me over the years and I just keep coming back because it's such a good experience to share with other people and to have fellowship. Through Sold Out, through the fellowship, through the preaching, um, we were really convicted about living for Jesus, about being on mission for him, not just you know taking a back seat, but devoting our lives to serving him. And so that really helped to focus in me a desire to, to serve God's church, to, to give my life to being part of that and contributing to that, rather than just um, taking the easy route and perhaps being a, you know, a, a nominal Christian. Yeah, I think Sold Out has been an amazing um, influence in our lives and yeah, I would definitely recommend it to anyone.